everyone. I am going to do a live demonstration today. So as you're able to join me, go ahead and comment so I know that you're here with me. And if you catch me on the replay, go ahead and write cat because I have my black cat circling my feet trying to get attention. So this will be a little more challenging. So I keep looking down because I don't want to step on her as I'm moving around here. So that said, I have not put anything in my hair yet this morning other than washing it and getting ready for the day. Um, I did add, it's not true, I did add rose water. So we have a little rose water. It's a great little mist to add to your hair. Um, for ladies with a little bit finer hair, you might wanna add our sea salt spray to help give your hair a little more texture and to help um, so it doesn't feel so slippery necessarily. Mine being rather coarse hair, I have no problem there with things staying in it. Um, so a couple of little things we'll demonstrate here. I will do a couple of U-pin demonstrations. And if you wanna see others, let me know. Um, Cause inevitably my hair ends up, up, ends up being up at some point in the day. Cause I don't always wear it down. I do until it's mostly dry like it is right now. And then I end up putting it up. So. The other thing, I don't know if you guys have this issue, but my bangs right now are getting really, really long. And I'm curling them, but you know, they're still long. So the other trick we can do with those, stop bandit, is you can use bobby pins or hair bands or a mixture of both. And you can pin your bangs back using our bobby pins. And whether it's the bangs or themselves or the side pieces that are long and kind of annoying you, you can go ahead and pin those back. And how I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna start with the decorative side facing me. I'm gonna slide it up and then flip it down. So that way the decorative part ends up facing out. So I'll walk you through that here. Again, grab a section of hair. Hand lotion was not the thing to put on before trying to use bobby pins. Look out, kitty. So grab a little bit of that hair, kind of go through, move my arm out of the way, and now I wanna flip it. And I'm gonna push it down. And what that does is it leaves the decorative part sticking out, but it hides the post within your hair. So that's one option to kind of help get a little bit of your hair out of your eyes. Um, it's not totally gonna help with my bangs, but one of the things you could do if your bangs are longer and you wanted to start pinning them back, you can do that as well. And this would work better had I not just curled them under, um, but you could pin them back with a bobby pin too. So a couple different tips and tricks. The bobby pins work wonders. They are really strong, so make sure when you're taking them out, you do prime apart a little bit so they don't pull your hair out. It's the one thing that could hurt your hair a little bit, um, and we don't want any damage caused to your hair. So again, when you comment, or when you join me, go ahead and comment so I know that you're here with me. Watch out for my cat. Next one I am gonna do are a swerve. We'll start with that. This guy here, I'm gonna use a beaded swerve. The beaded and bare metal regular swerves are four inches long. The short swerve is three inches long. And so for doing the swerve, I can do a couple different styles. I can do kind of a gather all my hair and do kind of a French twist with it, where I just twist it up. And then I grab my swerve and I go across touch the scalp and flip it back on itself. And the swerve and U-pins both are contoured. Let's just see what that looks like at the end. They're both contoured so that, tails are great obstacles. Um, they're contoured though so they fit comfortably against your head in the end. It's gonna be like this because you want it to be comfortable against your scalp. So with the U-pin and swerve both, you start with them this direction and then flip them back on themselves so they end up contouring your head and being comfortable to wear all day. So 
that's a quick swerve demonstration. I can do that same style with a flexi clip or with U pins or with our braided eights and, or like leather eights and sticks. So the products are all very versatile. It just depends on the choice and what you have and what you want to wear. So we did a swerve. How about grab a flexi here? I'll show that same style. So I'm just going to slide the post of the flexi under all my hair. Wrap the decorative part across the top. And then I'm going to hook it through. And that's it. So you can see a few different styles that way. Um, this is usually my go-to or I will wear a hairband with it as well. And I'll grab one of those so you can see what that looks like. So we have a few different styles. Hello, Bandit. So hairbands come with a few different style options. We have the wider ones that have kind of a felt back to them and um, comfortable to wear because of our adjustable elastic strap. Get my hand out of the way so you can see it. Um, again, it adjusts just like uh, tank top straps do. Slide it down, it gets bigger. This is a long strap. The standard length strap, I believe, is four to five inches and the long is five to seven and a half. And then when you stretch it out, it can go up to 10 inches. And the hair bands themselves don't stretch. It's just the elastic strap that does. But we have the ones like this where it's got the wider strip. There's also the beaded hair bands that we have. And you can wear them singly or you can wear up to three together at a time. So I maybe wouldn't wear all three of these, but for demonstration purposes, I could pin these two together and then put them on. You, When you choose the elastic strap color, you wanna choose the color that most closely matches your hair color. You'll notice um, I probably wouldn't really wear black, but you could, it's an option. Um, but just to give you an idea of what that would look like, I'm just gonna slide it on and go up and over all the poofy bangs tuck it behind my ears and then kind of slide it in place. I am really surprised because when I first saw these, I thought, oh, how in the world do they not hook your hair as you're sliding them around in your hair? But they don't. They're a miracle in my mind. I think it's because they're really tightly woven together. So there's not room to get hair in between them, but it works really well. And that's a simple way to add some fun color and decoration into your hair. And I can do the same thing with the wider strapped version. As I mentioned, um, I sometimes will wear both a hairband and a uh, my hair up. And if I'm gonna do that, how I do that is I just kind of pin my hair loosely up for a temporary placeholder. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Um, and what I'm doing is just kind of pinning it temporarily. So that's why you don't need to necessarily see that portion of it. What I will do though, is put the hair band essentially in between those layers of hair and I have a little bit bigger head. That's why I wear a large. So I didn't want to do that though. One second. So what I'm doing essentially is keeping my hair in between that or the elastic in between my layers of hair. So I've got it on the back, coming up and over the top. Have to fix the bangs a little bit. But that way the elastic is now in between my hair. If I take this back out, 
the elastic is completely hidden in my hair and then it allows me to grab all my hair and do a twist up. So with the elastic in between my layers, I can now pin my hair up and you won't see the elastic but I now have a flexi in the back or a swerve or U-pins and I have a hairband in the front. So just another way to give a little bit uh, different style and dimension and things to your hair. If you guys have questions, go ahead and, and comment and I'll check back in. Thank you so much for joining me while I got ready this morning. Have a great day.